Hey friends, this is me Vinas and uh, today we will be solving a very interesting question. So the question is maximum product of splitted binary tree. So in this question guys, we are having a binary tree and we need to remove any particular edge uh, in that particular binary tree such that the multiplication of sum of the splitted subtrees is maximized. Okay, And we need to return the maximum possible multiplication. Right? And since the answer may be too large, so we need to uh, return the module. We need to return it with modulo 10 raised to 9 plus 7. Okay. So what does it mean is that suppose we have this particular binary tree, and let's say we have decided to cut the this particular edge connecting 2 and 4. Okay. So if we will do so the two splitted uh, subtrees will be these two, okay? One is containing only four and other one containing uh, like five nodes, okay? So let's say the sum of uh, the part one, okay, the splitted subtree one is X and sum of this particular portion is Y, okay? So we need to find out the multiplication of X and Y. Okay, and since you know, since there could be many choices of uh, removing many choices for removing the edge. Okay, uh, what do I mean by this? Is suppose I had decided to cut right here, so I could have decided to you know just remove this particular edge, or I could have decided to remove this edge, or this edge, or this edge, or, this edge, or any such edge. Right? We have to remove only one edge, but it is our you know we have the total freedom to remove any any particular edge that we want but the the thing is that after removing any particular edge in whichever way the tree uh, it, the tree would get splitted uh, the sum of the first portion let's say x and the sum of the second portion is y the multiplication of x and y should be maximized and we need to return the maximum uh, possible multiplication Okay, I, I hope the question is pretty much clear to you guys. So let's now think about the approach. Let's now build our own intuition. How can we solve this, right? Okay, perfect. So basically it's a quite straightforward question. So what we will do is, suppose we have the total sum of this particular tree. Okay, so let's say the total sum is uh, 1, 2, 3, 6, uh, 10, 15, and 21. So let's say the total sum that is TC uh, is 21. Okay, and uh, perfect. So let's say we are just following the in order traversal. In in order traversal, we, we uh, what we do, we basically go all the way to the left and Let's say I'm right here currently and I'm looking at this particular node which is having four. Okay, the value four. And let's say I just have decided to cut the edge which is connecting to four. Okay, from anybody. Let's say, uh, you know, two is connecting four. Okay, let's say I just have decided to cut this particular edge. Okay, when I will cut it, the tree will get uh, splitted by two particular parts, right? So uh, let's say the sum of this part one is four, and what is the sum of this part two? So I don't have to calculate the sum of part two, right? Because I have total sum already. So I can directly calculate the sum of part two in order of one complexity. How? Since I have already know uh, that uh, what is the sum of the sum of one portion, I can simply subtract this particular uh, sum from the total total sum, right? Right. So in this way, I can find out the, uh, the sum of another portion, right? So let's say the sum of this particular portion is X and this particular portion is Y. And I just have found out the multiplication of X and Y. And let's say the multiplication is, let's say Z, right? So what I'll do is I'll have a uh, a variable which will be responsible for holding the maximum product. 
okay uh, that i have found out so far so let's say the maximum product that i have found so far is z okay so what i'll do is i'll try further okay so uh, in the next you know since i am currently in the inner traversal i will now be right here at 2 right so when i am at 2 let's say i just have decided to cut this particular edge okay so when i'll cut this particular edge the tree will now be split by this portion right this will be a sub, sub tree and this will be a sub tree right uh, hence, uh, you know, the sum of this particular subtree will be 5 and sum of this particular subtree will be 21 minus 5, right? That, that means 16. So let's say the, you know, multiplication of uh, 16 into 5 it, uh, is, let's say, P, okay? And what I'll do is, let's remove this particular portion since I just have found out the answer for it. And, uh, okay. Let's move on, right? So in the next turn, since I am in the inner traversal, in the next turn I'll be right here. And now let's uh, let's say that I just have uh, removed this particular edge. So I have this much portion, right? So the sum of this particular portion is let's say x, and sum of this particular portion is let's say total sum minus x. That means y. So again I'll find out the multiplication and again I'll compare the value with the previously stored multiplication. If that is greater than the previous one, then I'll update it. Otherwise, I'll leave it, right? So guys, are you are you just uh, getting my point at what actually I'm currently doing, right? So I'm currently finding out each and every uh, possible sub, sub trees and, uh, and I'm trying to split that particular sub tree from the original tree, okay? And I'm trying to figure it out that okay, uh, if these are the splitted subtrees, then what is its uh, what is the sum of each one? Okay, and uh, and I'm trying to uh, find out the multiplication of each one, right? Uh, then I'm I'm just comparing and storing the things. So I'll be doing the same task for each and every possible subtrees. Okay, uh, you know, and uh, finally the AM will be holding. To our answer right so m is responsible for finding out the maximum uh, possible multiplication that uh, we, we that we have found so far right so in this way we can solve this particular question i hope you understood you have understood the idea understood the logic so let's quickly code it out so basically what we will do is first of all uh, let's say okay we need to find out the answer could be large so is there any choice a thousand nodes okay nodes value could be between uh 10 to 4. so that means long long int can hold everything right perfect since we require the uh, total sum of the tree so let's find out the total sum So the total sum could be if the root is null then obviously i'll return zero uh, if the root is not null so what i have to return i have to return the roots value plus i have to you know just populate uh, the left subtree and right subtree isn't it perfect okay I just have found out the total sum so let's say the total sum is sum and uh, we'll call the total sum right here to get it okay all right so let's say the answer that i uh, the answer is let's say m right m is basically this particular variable okay which will be responsible of uh, responsible for holding the maximum product that i have encountered so far let's let's call it max product okay so the max product is uh let's say l long minimum 
that means negative infinite you can uh, call it okay and uh, let's say we just have a function uh, get max product okay uh, in this function we will pass the root node okay basically this particular function will follow the in order traversal completely and as we have already discussed the algorithm so we'll pass the total sum to it and the current sum let's say the current sum is uh, do we require any current sum okay let's let's just go with it and we require the max product okay because the max product will hold the answer right and after finding out everything basically the max product will be our answer but we we need to uh, you know find the mod with 10 to 9 plus 7 is mentioned in the question okay so let's find out it uh, that is get max product let me quickly write it down uh, this is the total sum okay and uh, all right this is the answer okay which we require so basically when we see that the root itself is null then there is nothing to worry about we just need to return zero okay since we are trying to find out the sum of uh, a particular portion starting from the left side that means we are basically trying to find out uh, the sum of a subtree using in order traversal right so so let's say the current sum is basically nothing but uh, will first explore will first propagate the left subtree get max pro for roots left okay plus and two more variable need to be passed these are uh, total sum and what is that answer okay uh, then we will add the current value wherever I am currently at and I have to add get max pro we have to pop, uh, propagate all the right subtree the right subtree total sum and answer perfect all right guys so we just have found out the current sum okay so tell me what is the what will be the answer uh, what will the answer be storing the answer will be storing the maximum of current answer whatever the value of uh, the current answer could be and the current sum multiplied by total sum minus current sum so i hope you got it uh, so basically this is the portion one the sum of portion one and this is the sum of the portion two right and i'm trying to multiply multiplying it and after multiplication i just have compared it with the previous multiplication if that is uh, bigger then obviously the previous multiplication will get replaced with the current multiplication and so on and so forth will happen right perfect so but since we are since we need uh, you know the sum of each and every sub subtree so we need to return the current sum in this particular state okay so i hope you got the logic and uh, Guys, this is the entire solution. I hope you liked it. Let's test it out whether it is actually working or not. Yeah, it worked. So now let's submit it to see whether it is getting submitted or not. Yeah, it get, it is perfectly fine. So I hope you enjoyed this particular video. Uh, so if you have enjoyed it, if you liked it, make sure to subscribe to this channel. Hit the like button and bell button as well. Uh, and if you have any such doubt guys if you have any query please uh, you can simply go on and uh, write me or comment me in the comment section comment your doubt and thank you thank you for watching this